I just turned 14 and um, he was 24. Um, a very silly teenager, I, was, I thought we was going to get married, have kids, have a family, settle down. Yeah, it was only later on when, you know, all that changed and then things started to get very different. With the violence you get so used to it and it becomes kind of just so normal and I, I know that sounds very strange but you, you do just get used to it and it kind of just seems normal everyday life. Were there moments where you feared for your life? Um, yeah, there were um, so so many occasions. Um, you know, I remember towards the end, I actually felt suicidal, and I, it was just so painful. You know, I just couldn't take anymore. Did you go to the police? Yeah, I did. Um, I went to the police when I was sixteen, and he basically said, "Well, I think he's got every right to. What do you expect?" The policeman said that. Yeah. Well, he said, "What do you expect?" And I'll never ever forget those words. What he said. You know, if the police are saying no, where do you go from that? I mean, 1,400 people, you know, there has to be more than one person stepping down in apology. You know, I don't think they're sorry. They're not sorry because I got abused. They're sorry because they got caught out in a scandal that's hit the media. What would you say to other girls who are still currently in this situation? They have to be strong. You have to stay strong. You have to come forward, tell someone. Your voice will be heard. I just hope that you know, it's taken seriously and that justice gets done.